All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to do a kind of like a stress reliever uh, video for you guys. So, um, but the first I'm going to start off with, uh, I bought this little AirPod cleaner. It's like a little brush you could clean your AirPods out with. You got this little brush here to clean the, uh, the speaker. And then you have this little pick for uh, like if you don't clean your ears with a Q-tip. And you got to use this to, to take all the wax out of your at a little speaker but I got this on Amazon I think it was like six bucks seven bucks but uh, I am not sponsored I'm just showing you guys this and uh, it works actually pretty good so I already cleaned my AirPods out with it and uh, would recommend buying one of these so if you guys are in the market for something to clean your AirPods this is the way to go like I said it's on Amazon I think it's like six seven dollars all right so today we're gonna be checking out a, a few things I picked this up at uh, Walmart and it's supposed to be like an instant fire. Let's see if you can see that right there. I don't know if you can or not. But uh, I guess you just put this under some wood and it's supposed to start on fire. Military grade, campfire, fireplace, cooking, and for emergencies. So we're going to try this out today. And also, I picked up from Amazon it's a kindling cutter. And what it is is uh, it's like a splitter and you don't need an axe you don't need all you need is a hammer and what it is is this round piece of metal weighs about maybe four or five pounds and there's a blade right in the middle there you can see it and I guess what you do is you put a log right here in the middle and you use a hammer and you smack it down and it's supposed to split the wood so we're gonna try this out today so got the fire starter we're gonna try to split some wood See if this thing actually works, see if it's worth the 70 bucks. Uh, I actually saw this on YouTube while I was searching for uh, camping gear. And uh, so we'll try that out and see how that works. So I wear a lot of Nike. I love Nike. I mean, they're, they're a good shoe. They're expensive. Um, but when it comes to the return policy, they suck. So I have these uh, 270s here and the bubbles popped. Can you hear it? So I went to the store, I tried to take them back because you have a one year so-called warranty on them. And uh, they're asking for the box, they're asking for the receipt, and you cannot, you can't wear them out, you can't wear them. So it's like, if you have them in the box, I guess, and they pop, then you can take them back. But if you wear them on the daily and they pop, like obviously I guess you can't take them back. So um, I did call Nike and they sent me a packing slip and they, uh, they kept them for like 10 days or whatever and I got them back I mean they're still they're still flat they said that uh, it, w it was uh, my fault that they popped so I don't know how that happens but anyway so um, I'm gonna show you guys what to do with these shoes when they pop it's kind of a quick fix and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video it's gonna be a lot of fun so sit back and watch this video go down all right so I'm gonna be filming in my backyard today because I'm not, the mountains are closed anyway, so see if we can split this wood. Wow, it actually works. Alright, as you can see here, I split the wood easy. Barely even had to hit it with the hammer. This blade's pretty sharp, so watch your hands. And uh, I'd say it worked pretty good. Now let's see if we could use this fire starter stuff. Thank you. 
So it looks like little sand. Looks like sand. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're gonna try this out, see if it works. Make a little pile in the middle. Alright, it's lit. You guys can see that. It's actually working pretty good, actually. I just said that actually twice in one sentence. So this is what the stuff is called, fire starter, instant fire. All right, let's get this fire going. All right, you can see that the uh, that fire starter powder stuff worked pretty good, actually. Now we got the fire going. I'm not gonna put any more wood on it because this is just for a sample video. But that stuff I would recommend. Actually lit up that wood pretty quick. You saw the uh, splitter over there. That thing worked really good too. So <clears throat> two things, three things to show you guys today that actually worked pretty good. I still gotta show you guys how to fix your uh, 270s though. So we'll we'll dive into that after this fire dies down a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to fix those 270s. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and uh, see what you guys think. Leave a, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about the uh, repair on the 270s. 200 bucks, and this is how you fix your 270s. If you're ever in a bind in the mountains and you need a fire, you can burn your 270s and uh, you'll have heat for, for a while. That's a pretty good flame. Alright, you can see here that uh, there's really nothing left of the 270s. Really perfect fire starter right there. So uh, let's get this fire out. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video, um, don't forget to check out Amazon, they have some good deals on there, uh, I'm not sponsored by them, so uh, check out the AirPod cleaner, the uh, fire starter, stuff actually worked really good, the wood splitter worked perfect, and uh, you saw how quick that, that fire starter lit it up, so, plus that wood's dry, I bought it out of the gas station, but, in the 270s, that's the quickest way to get rid, or to fix them, I mean, that's, uh, Kind of like a stress reliever too i mean if you're frustrated with what you bought and it doesn't work or they don't want to take it back and help you out well there you go so uh they felt pretty good they burned pretty good um if you ever i guess you're in the mountains and you need something to light a fire throw a 270 up on the on the on some gas or or use that lighter stuff put the lighter stuff inside the shoe light it up and there you go you got a fire going uh, that fire actually burned for about a good I don't know 10 15 minutes so uh, make sure you have a bucket of water and um, be careful where you light your fire I have a little fire pit in the backyard so I'm not too worried about the flames um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope this helps you out and uh, don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about the products that I showed you today and like I said I'm not sponsored I just do it for fun so I uh, hope you guys have a good day be safe out there and make sure you tell your loved ones you love them and have a good day.